Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm here with Thimbleweed Park. I already started on my iPhone. I played uh, close to an hour, but I decided I wanted uh, more space. So I'm starting over with my iPad. Hopefully uh, it'll still be help be helpful to people, uh, not too repetitive. But uh, anyway, here we go. Enjoy. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. So I was really hoping it was going to be full screen. I'm a little disappointed that uh, even the, sorry about the noise outside, but that even all the on-screen menus, the actions, the inventory, they could have been moved to the top and bottom, and it would, or at least the bottom. Ah, that's a, that's that's disappointing. Cause I one of the things I didn't like on my iPhone was how much of the screen was covered by that stuff. But oh well. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. The light is turned on, and I do not see a light switch. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. It is a rock. Completed step three of the note. Now for step four. Mm. 
It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out and you get a pillow. Very top secret. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. <laughs> Thanks. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. It's an instant camera. It's an instant camera. Only has one picture left. Smile! Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's covered by the underbrush, but... It's an old abandoned chainsaw. It's an old abandoned chainsaw. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. That old tree is blocking the great entrance. What was that? Violin music coming from the sewer? That old tree is blocking the great entrance. The trail ends here, at this huge rock wall.
is an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! Why brothers, if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons. And he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Whack! Beep! Whack! Click, 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 click! Squeak! Beep! Boop! Heek! Beep! Wazz! From a six-pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Wait for me. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Cut the Mayberry crap. We're taking over this case. Whoa! Hold your horse Arenos! No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. 
I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Areno do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? Who? I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future, Who. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, Who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain a who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type. Printing out a report to who? What does the Bloodtron 3000 do again? Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type. Printing out a report to who? Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match -a who Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk a who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual, and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas who's in a pot who Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. 
Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pilotronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pilotronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a hoot. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. It's a medical skeleton. Ugh. Smells awful. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. L lots of medical books there. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object. The Bloodtron 3000 will confirm a positive match and issue a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Reno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Reno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as Pizzerinos in a Potterino. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? <laughs> yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer a Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, a Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. 
You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Just a bunch of fun. There's a fingerprint book here. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3. I don't want to waste the powder on that. I need to dust the murder weapon. It doesn't work in that. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of... Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Insert three reports from the Bloodtron 3000, Fingertron 3000, and Facetron 3000 into the Arresttron 3000 to issue an arrest warrant. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. It says, we're out of the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely for our savings manager, Mr. El Polo. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hinttron 3000 at 4468. Hmm, I don't get it. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. 
I'd really like to explore A Street. Street's closed until we fix this leak. Gotta go. I've got a murder to solve. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. We're the feds, you can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey, but you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the nose is a bit too big. This nose is perfect. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hintron 3000, trademark, at 4468. Me. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as... It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up.
It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now. Now there's the face I love. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. I can't push that. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best lines without it. Shoot the bunny! I don't want to pick that up. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Step right this way! You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the Asswipe Clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. It eh, serves you right for playing the duckies. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. Give me my joke book, face. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the five kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. You, I'm out of here. Weak. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna headed pleb. I'm. It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar. Now just take the big bucks. Go f yourself. I don't have time to leave the circus. Uh, I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. This goop keeps my clown fro erect. I already used some. My hair look. Uh, go, go yourself this goop keeps my clown fro erect i already use some my hair look this goop keeps me it's my special custom made clown makeup i am tired of i glued him to the table so no one can steal him It's my lawyer's business card. 
He's happy where he is, aren't you, little ransom? It's not my job to push popcorn stands around. Against clown union rules. Shoot the bunny. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk bug? Ah, uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. Where's the grand you owe me? Eh, uh, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. Just shoot like a man or a little girl. Eh, uh, take a shot at the target. Shoot the birdie! Alright, I'm gonna take a break here to figure out... Oh, wait, no. Um... Gotta figure out what to do, how to get his money. Uh... But yeah, that's Thimbleweed Park on an iPad, unfortunately not full screen, but I guess we have to take what we get. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.